be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Also hit that like button. Um, and let's go ahead and get into today's content. So what I wanted to talk about today is how you can make your own sample packs, all right? It's a very simple process, but let's go ahead and jump into it, all right? So the first thing you wanna do is, uh, I recommend going ahead and open up Logic. Um, and what you wanna do is go to your file, just say open and wherever you all your beats are just start going through them and any beat that's not finished turn that into a sample pack all right so i'm just gonna go here and i can just tell what beat is what beat is which so let me just look through here let's see asap all right you could look right here and tell that i tracked that one out or, or uh, um, arranged that beat into a whole song so i'm not gonna mess with that one um Let's see, bitter. That's a whole song. You feel me? Blank. I know that's a whole song too. Um, let's keep on going. Deftone. Let's see what that is. That's a whole song. Uh, drama. Okay, cool. So we got drama here, and we got yeah. Okay, drama. That might. Let's just check and, and see. We got drop a canna too. Let me see what that's talking about. All right, yeah. Let's look at drop a canna. So I'm gonna open that up. And we're going we gonna to check out what we got up in here, okay? And all you want to do is listen to what the, listen what you got going. All right, bet. So this is this is a this is a royalty free sample. It's, it's original. I created it right here. Let me see what it got going on. See what I got going right here. All right, cool. So once you find out the different pieces within your your uh, unfinished beat that you you know what I'm saying that you got going on here, let me just listen to a couple more of these. And depending on whether you want to make this a melody pack or like a, a whole kit that has drum loops and melodies in it would be would depend on what you're actually going to put into the kit so let's just say we're going to do this as a melody pack right so i have these three melodies i got this one melody right here that's uh going forward i got another melody that's like a reverse and then i got a, a, a bass melody what i would do next is go over here and push command shift s what that's going to do is open up this aspect to do a save as and whatever your beat name is that's unfinished is put two at the end of it okay and save it what that's going to do is still keep everything else intact but then you can still come over here and delete everything else so like that's what i would do delete this come over here and delete all the rest of this stuff okay boom and then after you do that just go by one by one and rename everything. So like this one right here. We could just call that uh drop a can uh, and I'll put dash and I'll say lead. Or I could say drop a can of loop one. You know, keep things simple. Then I can just copy and paste this joint and say, drop a can of loop, what, two. Then I can say, drop a can of uh, bass. Or loop three if you want, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be too difficult, you feel me? After you do that, highlight everything by pushing Command A and then push Option Shift N. And what that's gonna do is name everything right here, what you just named right there. All right, and then pretty much all you gotta do from here is first off, you can just mute off one by one and listen to it and you can add effects to it 
You can sweeten it up by, you know, uh, doing certain like uh, EQing on it and everything like that. I already done it. I'm just going to show you some of the plugins I put on here, but let's just listen to it before and after. This is without the plugins on it. And then what I did is I came over here, did an EQ. Let's listen to it with the EQ. And what I did here is, is I kind of dipped it right here just because I felt like in that frequency range of this particular sample, it was coming in a little too loud. But we could turn it up just a little bit like this. Let's see. All right, cool. I also went ahead and added this RC20. You don't have to add RC20. You can actually come over here and do a different plugin. You could do, um, go to Isotope. They have a free vinyl plugin, I believe. Put that on there. You feel me? You take, take this dust down, turn the warp up just a little bit. And now let's listen to it with that, that plugin on it. Then you can throw some type of maximizer on there. Um, I got this L1 plus ultra maximizer from Wave plugins. I turned the uh, threshold down and the ceiling, I put it at negative 1.0. And this is going to boost the signal just a little bit. All right, bet. And then what you would do is just do that through all of the different sounds in the kit. You feel what I'm saying? It's as simple as that. One way you could do it is just by like, say, um, and now this one is a little bit different, but I can just come over here like this. I can get rid of this plugin if I don't want it. And I can just hold down option and drag whatever plugin that was on one and say if I like this plugin, I can put it over here like that by pushing down option and, and dragging it over. Um, and you just keep on repeating the process until you got like a new vibe, something that people will want to, you know, create with. It's a little harsh as you can hear that's why i went ahead and eq'd it eq and helps a lot when when creating samples but do that and i might take out some of the um bring in some more of the lows let's see what that sounds like okay now it's kind of Bet. And then so what, what all you got to do from there after you get everything done is you could either do one or two things. You could just play. Um, you can kind of do a, a short arrangement. You could just take these, highlight them, copy them, command C to copy, put take the playhead and put it at the end of it and maybe take it out about at least four, at least four copies. Right. And then what you could do is kind of build this into like a little a little bit of a vamp here. So I can have it coming in like this with this sample first. certain parts man like and what you'll do is after you get everything the way you want it let's just say we're going to do it like this this is going to be the loop that you would use for people to just kind of like demo it or they can just pretty much bring it in or you can just have it with the stems so this one just listen to it all the way through here let's see
and that's fine. That's 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 a, a whole loop. Matter of fact, <laughs> don't y'all try to steal this name, drop a cannon. That's probably gonna be my next uh, loop pack. Matter of fact, but anyway, you know, uh, you can just take this and then come over here to your stereo. You can make sure that it's not gonna be clipping or anything. You could throw like a um, throw like a uh, adaptive limiter on the stereo bus. Just do like this. Turn it down to negative. Uh, 0 0.1 turn the gain all the way down true peak limiting on and in that way it's not going to peak or anything when you bounce it down and all you would do now is just go uh, command B and it's going to pull up to where you can bounce this track down and I would just bounce it down as a wave file make sure that PCM is selected okay or you could do it as an mp3 it really doesn't matter matter of fact you could do it as an mp3 but I would I always say you know when you're dropping wet like uh, sample packs do it as wave files and do it as highest quality so you want to do 24 bit and then 48,000 on the sample rate don't turn on them um, normalize make sure you have inter uh, interleaved on dithering none and just click OK and what you do is just um, put it where you want it I always go ahead and put it on the desktop and you can just go ahead and do the name of the sample and then what you would want to do is you see the BPM, just put that next. You say 140 BPM, and you can just put loop after it, just so you know that this is the loop, the whole loop of this. Um, and then just bounce it. Boom. Now you're done. Now at this point, you're also going to want to include the stems. I always recommend doing that. Like if you know if you're going to do a sample pack, it adds more value. You know what I'm saying? So what I would do now is I would just go ahead and push Command Shift S. And this is going to do another save as. Well, instead of two, we'll put three. And what we'll do is I'll just push uh, Control M to unmute everything. And you really don't need a whole lot of these because remember, you're just giving them the stems. You might even do like three. All the way through so they can catch the loop all the way without any issues and from there take it to the very beginning and push command shift e command shift e is going to basically allow you to export your files as audio all right export your files as audio then i'll come over here and go to your um desktop and I will click new folder here, name it, whatever the samples is. And in this case, it's a uh, drop of canna. All right. And then I would just say stems. I'll put the BPM. And I would just put loops after in, or you could put loops on it or whatever. And in that way, you know that this is your stem folder. Click that. If you want to have something like before it, you can know you could you could set it up where you have custom right here in the track name. So I can put like you know my production name is Ukai Beats. You know what I'm saying I can put Ukai Beats dash drop a can of loop one. You know what I'm saying. And actually, I would do that just for branding purposes. So say when people are going through the files, they'll know where it came from, if you will. So. I would just go ahead and say wave 24 bit. You could do normalize, but uh, off if you want to. But I always go ahead and just say overload protection only, just in case it, it some for some reason you know clips. But for the most part, since we put this added uh, adaptive limiter on here, you don't have to worry about doing a normalized overload protection. So you can turn that off. And then once you do that, make sure you're in that folder and export it. Kaboom. You feel me? And then let me just go to this, this messy desktop that I have. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, actually, no, nah, I don't want y'all to see everything that's on my, I'm on my desktop. But basically, you will go over here to the folder. Mm. And you can go to the folder is I think it's a drop a canna. Let me see here. Da, 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 da. And you have the loop right here. You can play this to make sure everything's right on it. All right. 
and then you have your stems. Then you can come over here like this. Boom, boom, boom. And just play, just play everything just to make sure it works. All right, cool, that one worked. All right, that one works. And that one works. And the reason why you wanna play all these things again after you do the loop is because you wanna make sure that you didn't make mistakes and maybe, you know, it's clipping or, you know, something like that. So then after you do that, you pretty much just want to keep on going until you have like anywhere between 10 and 20 tracks or, or loops. And then you put it together as a pack and you, you there, you know, you're done. I mean, it's similar to what I did with this um, Blue Fire um, melody pack. You know what I'm saying? Sameless plug. Go get that joint. It's fire. You know, it's only 37 bucks. It's on my beat site, ukiahbeats.com. Yeah, it's a shameless plug. Let's go ahead and get that. And um, let me see, where's that blue fire joint? Bam, all right? And you just kind of see what I did here, man. I just have everything organized and I just basically kept on going back to back. Found beats that I did not finish that had some hard loops because you know how it is, man. You know, you, you get to cook, cooking up a beat. I'm like, man, this is hard, but you, you get distracted and go to something else you know what i mean you just keep on doing this process well instead of having to finish all those beats you know what i mean just put them in a loop pack and throw it on your website you, you know it's another stream of income and it's going to help the producer community there you go you feel me come in here and then once you get, you get your loop pack you got your loop right here you got your stem pack, stems right here and there you go you feel me so I appreciate y'all watching. That's today's video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Make sure you also go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. It helps the channel. And again, if you are brand new, please subscribe. All that good stuff. Click on the links too, man. I got a lot of goodies that I, that I prepared for you in the description below as well. All right, until the next one, we out.